All right. Thank you for that, Justin. And guess what, everybody? It is baking news. <laughs> I love it. For it's my favorite. Every time. We love it. It's time for another edition of David's Dish. And this, David, is... I think you have to do yourself this time. <laughs> right. I Tell think what. so. This what do you is, even call it? Well, it is a tree stump cake. Okay, tree and stump it cake. actually is my daughter Peyton's birthday cake. Mm -hmm. She turned 23 last Friday, Woo! and because Earth Day was Saturday, she said, Dad, I want a tree stump cake. And I she was always that. fond of ladybugs. She said, and put a ladybug on Aww. it. And so a couple ladybugs ended up on it yeah. as well, and those took me forever to make. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> labor of love, labor of yeah, love, this that, whole thing is. This was intense. Yeah. I tell you what, you can see half that's gone because mm -hmm. the cake itself is amazing. Because yes. the tutorial for how to decorate this is mm -hmm. one thing. They mm -hmm. just say, take a chocolate cake and then do this to it. Yeah. I found a recipe for an absolutely amazing chocolate mm -hmm. cake. Okay. And we should um, have that recipe, or at least the ingredients well, for it. Well, I tell yeah. you what, and, and what it is, is the buttermilk okay. and the espresso, mm -hmm. the ins instant espresso in a cup of boiling water. Wow. It makes the okay. cake very thin, Okay. but when they advise that you put uh, paper at the bottom of the pan, mm -hmm. uh, like parchment paper, parchment yep. paper at okay. the bottom of the pan, do it because it's so moist, it would stick Oh. If that wasn't in the bottom oh, of the pan. Oh, wow. Moist okay. cake. Very moist okay. chocolate cake. So this is going to be my go-to chocolate cake, cake for when I ever we have to that. make a chocolate cake. So if we put those pictures up, mm -hmm. uh, starting with the first one, there's the cake. Mm -hmm. okay. And then that frosting that it starts out with is a... Uh, Dolce de Leche <gasps> Buttercream Frosting. Oh, my God. Now, nice. here's another thing I didn't know. What... What is dolce de leche? Well, it's a milk-based caramel sauce. Oh, my God. And I know what that is. That's yeah, my favorite. Yeah. I mean, dulce de leche. That is my call. And that you is mine. And yep. you put that in, and that makes that uh, coloring, that kind of light brown yeah. for, the, okay. for the inside it's, of the log mm -hmm. kind of coloring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you go to the next ones, and then oh. I used... Now, the is tutorial this? said to use... Um, a ganache yeah. for this part, okay. oh. for the top and for the sides. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. No, I feel like that I would wanted be too hard. to use a chocolate buttercream, yeah. which I did. Good. So I made a chocolate buttercream, and then I piped on the side, piped those. The circle, the swirls the circle, that we saw. Yeah, that okay. that is the knot in the wood, mm -hmm. and then piped up, you know, the sides of it like that. Then if you go to the next. Uh, part and what I did then was took a fork, just a kitchen fork, wow. huh. and scraped down oh. the just sides. Just a fork. Just a fork. And just, that texture. And that texture on. looks oh. just like the side of a log. So you and move it that, up and down, just right. moving that. And then okay. that top, I took a spatula and just swirled it out. Oh my gosh! And it just swirled out that. Wow! And, that's, and it appeared as that. Oh so then gosh. the next step would be to make the mushrooms. This <laughs> is a process. That's just meringue. Yeah. Okay. But the meringue has to bake for three hours. Oh my gosh. Three I did hour, not know three that. Hours. Yeah, three I was going to ask you if you put that in the refrigerator. Nope. Three no, hours at 225 and you just, okay. you just pipe little in. caps, you pipe little like stems. stems and then once it comes out and it cools really fast. Okay. And you okay. take some cocoa powder, powder and you okay. dust them so it gives that like you know, woodsy, that exactly, dirt feel. dirty, you know, kind of feel. Yeah. And then you put them together with a little bit of <laughs> frosting. You just stick them together with they a little look frosting. So real. I put them in. Don't they look? <laughs> they like look real? like a real mushroom. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and then comes the intense work of putting all the food coloring in. So you've got okay. bags and bags and bags. I had. I mean, I was making buttercream frosting all afternoon, <laughs> wow. and then start to pipe the uh, leaves on, little flowers on, and so wow. the end result is. Here you this. go. There it is. Oh now, my David, gosh. I do want to ask you a little bit. Now this up top that we the saw moss. Oh, that's green right. moss. The moss. How did you do that? Right. That is pistachio, ground pistachios with matcha. And matcha is a green tea, a finely ground green mm -hmm. tea. So you mix the two together, put in a food processor, 
really grind it up yeah. and it gives that oh my mossy goodness. kind of texture. Yeah, and kind of tasty too. That, 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 nutty, that right. nutty kind of feel. Oh my gosh. Right. And so the in that picture of the cake, the mm -hmm. little ladybug mm -hmm. and now you can see on this real one, the uh, mushrooms, just like a real mushroom, mm -hmm. yep. they kind of wilt and wither, <laughs> and uh, you know, after about a day, they all kind of look like a mushroom would if you left it out. Yeah, um, but still. But yeah, so it this thing took me. You know, everything I do, I do. It's the first time mm -hmm. I've done it. Yeah. Okay. And this is another I've never done it before. So this is what I did, and it takes me forever. This took like six to seven hours. And you did this on Saturday. On Saturday, from wow. beginning to end. Oh, my god! And gosh. so, uh, you know, the second time you do something, yeah. it goes much quicker because yeah. you're kind of, right, you know, you know, yeah, you the, know the, the, the process. Steps, yeah. I tell you what, this, this took forever, but it was worth it because right. the cake itself, I mean, people are going back for seconds yeah. and yeah. thirds, and my I'm wife, Monica, ate the entire piece. She never eats an entire piece. <laughs> really? And she said, look at, look at my plate. <laughs> 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 You, you know, I know you made this for your daughter, but is this something that you do with your wife, that you do with your family, or you no, just this do is, for them? This I do for them. For them. They okay. are not bakers. They don't want any part of it. <laughs> but I'm in there for hours, yeah. and I, I love it. It's, yes. it's absolutely And we wonderful. love it, too. We do. Yeah. And uh, we're so thankful that you yeah. can share these tips with us. And we're going to have these recipes uh, on our Facebook page, as well as our website, uh, uh, WILX, then slash Studio yeah. 10, so that we can have this chocolate cake recipe <laughs> that he's been Got it. You've got to try it. And then the steps... <laughs> To all of this magic. So <laughs> thank you so much. Six hours. You might need more, a little more than six since Dave is a pro uh, professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might need like eight, ten. <laughs> You're out the whole day for it. Right. I'll cut you a piece in the break. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, 10 out of 10 is next. So definitely stick around for that. So we're going to give out 10s to the community. And 10s to this cake. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs>